We all know that around the house you can never have enough storage. And when space is at a premium, every nook and cranny, and we all have them, counts, even under the stairs. A totally wasted patch of valuable real estate. We're going to put this small space to work. The plan here is to put a desktop in that's going to be up against these two walls, so it'll be an L shape, and then cabinets underneath to really utilise this space. First thing I need to do, that is measure up. To achieve extra room, there's no easier way than using flat pack cabinets for a kitchen. The hard work's done for you, so there's no cutting needed. Basically, you just need to follow the instructions and screw it together. For this job, I'm going to use three cabinets. Now, usually, if we use these cabinets in a kitchen, we'd be putting feet on the bottom, which would allow us to put a kicker on. But if we did that here, our cabinets would sit too high. So I've just put a sheet of melamine on the floor. I'm going to sit the cabinets on top of that. That way, it will allow our doors to open and close, but it'll also give us a nice shadow line across the bottom. The beauty about these cabinets is you can pick different sizes and configure them any way you want to fill the space that you have. As you can see here, we literally only have millimetres left. And you don't want to forget to make a hole for your cables. All right, we're ready to make our custom-made desktop. For that, I've got some laminated carry. It's a beautiful hardwood timber. The first thing I need to do is cut the angle where the desktop meets the stairs. And the easiest way to work that out is with a level and a bevel. Basically, we're going to sit the level where our desktop goes, the bevel on top, and just adjust the angle to suit. Once you've got that, I can sit the bevel in place on our bench top, and it's as easy as just marking it. Then use a bevel to set your circular saw blade to the same angle. Now you're ready to cut. Now usually when you laminate bench tops, you glue and you clamp them and you wait for the glue to dry. But in this case, we've got a wall behind, which means I can hide the fixings. So I'm still going to glue it and then screw it off and we can use the bench top right away. I'm after a natural finish on this desktop and the best way to get that is with some Canubra wax. I'm just applying it on a scourer because that acts like a light sandpaper. Once it's on, leave it for about five minutes and then buff it out with a cloth. Get it in place. Look at that. Yep. You can see that these floors are in beautiful condition. And if down the track you decide to move this setup, a good thing to remember is don't fix into the floor. Only screw to the wall. That way, if you ever decide to move it, you're only left with pinholes to patch up. Once the cabinets and desktop are fixed in place, you can put the door fronts on and draw fronts. And to finish it off, I'm just putting in this infill panel, which really gives it that custom-built feel. I reckon it looks pretty neat. And finally, to make use of all the surfaces we have in this nook, I'm going to be adding shelves to the wall area here. I'm just using the same material as I have on this desktop. Basically, you can see I've just made two rectangles. I've offset them. I'm going to be attaching them to the wall with some angled brackets. Just a few bits and bobs to make this really feel like a new workstation. And... I'm really happy with the way this has come up. Remember before, it was just an empty hole. You can see by buying some timber off the shelf from the hardware store, flat pack cabinets, you've made a space that looked unloved into something that's useful. So have a look around your place for an unused space and you too can make it work for you.